Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to develop an art style. Perhaps you are an emerging artist who has already established art style, but you are hitting a glass ceiling somewhere. Maybe you're not picking up on sales or people kept confusing your artwork with the ones of another artist and you don't like it. You would like to give it a renovation, a new coat of paint. And this is what we are going to talk about today. I have a question for you. How would you describe your art style? Is that a photorealistic or is that abstract? Is that an art nouveau or art deco? Uh, is that a urban art or is that a manga art? Please quickly point out two equally dominant characteristics that best describe your style, followed by the medium of your choice. For example, colorful abstract paintings or concrete outdoor sculptures or monochrome surreal photography. If you can only find one word to describe your art style, like stencil, 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 I'm just kidding, then your style perhaps is too thin, it's too narrow, like hanging on a very thin single thread. And I challenge you to blend something new, add something new to your art, to make it a new style, either by adding a new element or adding another art style. Add a new art style. Here I found some random art styles on the internet. Cyberpunk art, rockabilly art, magic realism art, socialist realism art. I didn't know the artworks that grow up with me are actually called socialist realism art. Very interesting. So look at all these wonderful, interesting, strange art styles on the internet and perhaps try some. Add a new element. Besides painting and drawing, what else are you interested in? For example, how about horse riding? Who doesn't love horse riding, right? Why don't you try to blend horse riding into your current art style? There is actually a big business behind uh, horse riding paintings. There are so many horse riding clubs, horse riding schools, business owners who love horse riding or would like to decorate their office with you know, paintings of horses and some bars, restaurants and other kind of businesses would like to decorate with such paintings. And there is a big business behind it, trust me. So why not blend this horse riding into your current style? Perhaps you're not sure how it will go and you're not sure how your style will turn out, but don't worry. You'll be able to find a new style as you go when you are blending this new element into your current art style. Besides, even if it doesn't work out for you commercially, finally you're not losing time because you're spending your time painting something you truly enjoy. If you can find many words, too many words to describe your art style, but not one or two more dominant than others, perhaps you have a problem is that your art style is too messy, like a lot of threads tangled together and cannot separate. And it's very confusing for your collectors. So having a messy art style is something any artist should avoid. I would challenge you to cut down all these elements and characteristics to just two. Do you know what is a milu, or it's also called Père David's deer? It's a very special animal originally from China. It has the face of a horse, the horns of a deer, the feet of a cow, and the tail of a donkey. Now, let's repeat. It has a face of what? The horns of what? And the feet of what? And the tails of what? So, did you remember the four animals? I, I didn't, you know, I couldn't. And there is my point, is that if your art style is too messy, that it looks like everything. And finally, it will look like nothing. It's very hard for people to remember and point out what exactly your art is. In Chinese, milu is also called si bu xiang, which means four unlookalikes, because it doesn't look like anything. On the verge of extinction, panda got saved, not milu, because panda is cute. It has a very special visual identity. It has a distinctive style, and milu not. So as an artist, you want to be the panda, and you don't want to be the milu. Imagine your art style as a road. It can look like this either a street road highway or a busy junction or a crossroad that crossing two road that is two elements with balance and fluidity and this is something we are after let's just call it crossroad method I, I just made it up check out those mesh up art and in those artworks usually you can find two elements meshed or joined or crossed together to make a new style not ten it's just two, that's why it's a mesh up, not like a messed up, right? Do plenty of experiments and research, enjoy this process, and perhaps you'll find something in the next crossroad. 
If you're not sure and you don't have much time or you think it's too risky to try something totally new, just stick it to one day of the week doing this exploration. It's like Google encouraged its employees to embark on new adventures and innovation, uh, yet doing their job. So what they did is that they asked employees to do one day out of the five days, that's 20% of their working time, to dedicate to new projects so that their employees can stay competitive and innovative at the same time. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope it has been fun and see you in the next video.